Hi guys and girls and welcome to a video in which I show you my workflow from Blender to Unity. Before we start I just want to say that this is definitely not the perfect way to do it. This is just how I do it and hopefully this helps you and let's get into it. So obviously the first thing you want to do is you want to create a mesh. In this example I created a simple crate. The way I did that is just uh, I, I took a default cube and just added some uh, cuts to it. You can add cuts by pressing Control R and then you can change the amount of cuts you want to make by using your scroll wheel on the mouse. Once I added cuts I would scale them either on the X, Y or Z axis dep depending on which faces uh, I was adding them. Once you get this shape uh, you can extrude by pressing E and then scale by pressing S. So that is it for the mesh. Next thing is UV unwrapping. I'm not really good at this, but this is how I did it. So how you do that is you just uh, have to mark some seams so the bl so Blender knows how to uh, UV unwrap it. I marked all the outer edges of the box and then I marked the, uh, the inner edges of the faces in the box, just like this. Once you do that, you want to drag uh, another window here and then just go to UV uh, Image Editor. After that, just select the front and the back side of your crate. If you don't know which, which side is front, just press 1 on your numpad. And then it's going to show you your front side. So just select it and also select the back side and then press 1 on your numpad and go to orthographic view with 5 on your numpad just press U and project from U now this is gonna appear in your UV image editor panel and you want to move this somewhere else where you will remember it so I just moved it a bit up and remember the those faces are my front and back faces Next, you're going to do the same thing for the right and left side of your crate. So press 3 on your numpad and then it's going to show you your right side of the crate. Select that and also select the left side and then press 3 and be sure that you're in orthographic view and do the same thing. So press U and project from U. And then also move this to the side and remember that, that, is your, that those are your right and left faces. And lastly, you're going to do the same thing for the bottom and the top uh, side of your crate. So press 7 on your numpad, and that is going to show you the top side of your mesh. Select it, and also select the bottom faces. And then press 7, and again, make sure that you're in orthographic view. And press U, project from view. But now we're going to do some organizing to our uh, UV texture. So just take the front and the back, uh, back side of your crate and place them anywhere you want. But uh, just for organizing, I place them in the bottom left corner of the texture. Scale them up a bit, uh, but not too much because you don't want it to take, uh, take up the whole texture. I put my top and bottom faces just above it. So in the top, uh, top left corner. And then I took my right and left sides and put them in the bottom right corner. And now it's kind of organized. Uh, so what we did here is now uh, the if you want to hand paint the, the texture or not even hand paint, if you just want to texture it, you don't have to texture the front and the back side separately. You can just texture the front side and now the back side is going to just be the same. And the same goes for the top and bottom and the right and left. Hopefully that makes sense. Next what I did is I went into texture paint mode and then pressed T on my keyboard and that brings out the menu here. And then what I did is I created a new paint slot, alpha, and then I made it 512 by 512 and named it create UV. Just create the texture and you want to go to texture viewport shading you can do that down here after that I just use the fill brush to uh, give the crate some color 
just select the color whichever you want and press on the mesh and be sure to go to your UV image editor panel and select your uh, select the same texture here now what you can do now is you can uh, do some hand painting stuff here if you if you're good at that I'm not so I'm just gonna fill it with the with one solid color before I forget you want to go to your materials panel here and just add a material and name it uh, whatever you want but this is just gonna keep things organized uh, once we get into unity especially if you have multiple materials on your mesh whatever you do here won't matter because it won't show in unity so once you've done that just go to image and save as image I saved mine to desktop you can save it anywhere you want and now just to add some detail to our crate we're gonna do some ambient occlusion now you're gonna delete this texture because we don't need it anymore and you're gonna create a new one uh, call it create AO which stands for ambient occlusion and I made mine 512 by 512 once you've done that be sure to be in edit mode and select your whole mesh and if you go under the render panel all the way down you're gonna see bake you can set your bake mode to ambient occlusion but before we do anything else we're gonna go to world panel and ch under gather change samples to a bit higher because we want it to have a bit more detail I changed mine to 20 but just you know uh, be careful with this because if you set it to too much it's gonna take long time to bake so the higher the samples the longer the bake time go back to your render panel and simply press bake also be sure to again select texture the AO texture uh, because sometimes it just unselects it for some reason select it and again be sure that you're in edit mode and select your whole mesh and just press bake so now it baked kind of the shadows for the object you don't again you don't have to do this this just adds a bit more detail to the mesh once we put it into unity and you're gonna do the same thing now you're just gonna save it as a image a few more things we before we go to unity you can now close your UV image editor tab you're gonna rotate your mesh by minus 90 degrees on X so press R X minus 90 make sure you're in object mode press control a and apply the apply the location rotation and scale and you don't have to do this now but uh, you can just rotate it back to its normal um, rotation so just press RX 90 but this time don't apply the rotation what this does is I don't know if you ever just imported something from a blender to unity and your mesh was uh, kind of rotated on the wrong axis well this will fix that and um, now what you want to do just save the file and then save it export it as a FBX in unity you want to drag in your crate fbx file your ambient occlusion and uv file drag in your crate to the scene and if you select the crate in the inspector you can uh, just do a bunch of stuff you can change the scale and uh, that you can do that if your mesh is too small or too big I'm gonna keep mine as it is and you can also generate collisions but I'm not gonna do that because we're not gonna be using any collisions here and then go into your project panel and create a prefab and name it create underscore prefab you can name it anything you want but I just named it create prefab because of organization and now take your create from the scene and drag it to your prefab now you're gonna create a material so right click create a material drag in your create UV to the albedo section and drag your ambient occlusion to the occlusions section I decreased my smoothness because it was giving me a weird look in the in the game so this is how you get your uh, meshes from blender to unity uh, which you know it, it, it took me a while to get it because it's it's really complicated for, for some reason I mean at least for me but if it helps you be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe for more and also go follow me on Twitter. There's a lot of cool stuff there 
and uh, I will hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye.